Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. First, I hope everyone is safe and healthy. After we sent out some information this morning on how you can overlay COVID-19 data with ODMAP data, we received some additional questions. So we figured it would be easiest just to do an interactive uh, demonstration on how you can complete this yourself. First, you'll need access to level two. Uh, so you'll need to talk with whoever in your agency is an agency administrator. Next, what you'll do is you'll click on this add data button right here. Um, for the purposes of today's demonstration, we are in the training environment, so this is fictitious data and not accurate. Once you click on the add data button, you can search through Esri's ArcGIS open source data. You will need an ArcGIS account, um, but it's easy and free to sign up for one. Once you have one, you'll be able to search the data repository that exists for this. So you can type in 2019 ncov which is going to be the data file name for coronavirus uh, current data. And you can also, if you're ever curious um, in general, when you're looking at data that exists in here and you want additional details on it, you can click that information right there and it will take you over and let you know the source of the data, where it comes from, how often it's updated. Um, and so for the, for the purposes of this one, um, you can see that this is going to be the most up-to-date COVID-19 data. And so we can go ahead and we can click Add. And so now the data is an additional layer within ODMAP data. So you can see this, number one, you can see the legend that exists. Um, so this is going to be based off of basically how big the circles are. The bigger the circle, the higher number of coronavirus cases. You can also look at the layers that exist. So we can see right now that we have uh, COVID-19 cases in there. And then we also have um, our ODMAP data. And so you have the ability to play with some things in here to make it easier for viewing purposes. Um, so you can, again, click your layers on and off, you know, do, do what you need to do. Um, but you can also play around with the transparency of the data. So as you can see, you can make um, both the coronavirus data and the ODMAP data, uh, the transparency, so that you're easier to uh, look at the data if it helps you. Additionally, there's other data that may exist um, within Esri's ArcGIS uh, library, which you can search for. Um, so you can just type this in, um, and this goes for anything, whether it's coronavirus related or not. Um, any data that exists is open source data. Um, you can find that here within ODMAP um, and, and apply it right over your overdose data so that you can uh, look for any correlations that may or may not exist. So you can scroll down here and you could type in a variety of different things. So if we change it and we just type in um, something like this, we can take a look and see a, a data that exists. Um, so that we'll just go with the first one here that came up. Again, if I wanted to see any other details on this, I just click details. It's gonna take me over and let me know that this is uh, from the Florida Department of Health. So I can go ahead and add that as well. And say I no longer want to look at this national coronavirus data. All I have to do is just unclick it. And now I can go in and zoom in. And I can look at uh, Florida specifically with the data that I have um, overlaid within um, ODMAP data. For our training environment right now, uh, you don't see any ODMAP data there. So that's just a really brief overview of how to overlay data in ODMAP, especially with a focus on coronavirus. Um, if you have any other questions, um, you can always go over to odmap.org, click on training. We have a training manual there, which will uh, walk you through this um, exact process as well, um, right here on page 18, and as well as how you can upload other data files, um, such as CSVs and KMLs. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out uh, and hope you stay safe and healthy. Thank you.